our hawk defense here today and I've got my uh, shooting partner here with me and today we're going to talk about a gun that, uh, that we, we like, it's black powder gun. We're going to talk about the 1851 uh, Navy uh, Colt and this is a Pieta. This is a uh, replica gun, uh, like I said, made by Pieta. And uh, this is in, there's no cameraman, so nobody get panicky. This is a seven and a half inch barrel. This one's made, uh, like I say, by Pieta, and uh, it is in 44 caliber. Now, the originals of these. The originals of these uh, were in 36 caliber because in 1851 the metallurgy wasn't quite up to making a gun big enough to take a 44 caliber charge. But uh, because it's a replica and made out of modern steel, uh, they've made it in 44 caliber. So it is not an exact replica, of course, but it's fine. It looks the same as the old Navy 36s. You can buy a Navy 36 uh, replica. Uh, but, but when my other guns are all 44s, it just makes it easier to, to have them all in 44. But that's not what I want to talk about so much. Um, the, the deal with this Navy 44 uh, is that we, we, sh we shoot it a lot, and when you cock it, of course, and you put the caps on, the nipples, after you've charged all the cylinders, and you fire it, the... Uh, and you can see the caps, you can see where the caps go and those nipples uh, right in here. Uh, what happens is there's pressure inside these cylinders and this pressure in the cylinder then uh, both pushes, pushes out towards the barrel, of course, pushes the bullet out, but it also causes back pressure and the back pressure tends to blow off the caps that are on these nipples and what it does is it blows it out into the action. So it drops down inside the action and then when you're trying to operate the gun, you're trying to rotate around for the next shot of course, now you've got uh, a cap jammed up down in here and, uh, and it gets jammed. This gun, this gun is kind of, uh, it's kind of the queen of cap jams. And I don't know, there's just whatever idiosyncrasy there is with this gun, but it's the queen of cap jams. So in order to stop that from happening, I went and bought a new set of nipples for it. And they're called Slick Shot, uh, S-L-I-X, Slick Shot Nipples. Now, these nipples are perforated, and I don't know if you can see uh, the detail of them or not, but there's a little hole drilled right in the side. Uh, right there. See, you can see it on that one. There's a little hole drilled on the side so that when the back pressure comes out, instead of blowing straight out and blowing that cap right back off and blowing the hammer back, of course, when the hammer hits that nipple, it pops and then when it goes, the charge goes off, tends to back pressure, push the hammer back. Uh, well, with the hammer pressure on there, it, the pressure tends to blow out those side holes and then that and that keeps that nipple in place because the hammer is providing pressure from this direction and then that can blow out this way so the pressure can blow out sideways uh, and keep those caps on there so what we're going to do today and I haven't shot it since I got these new nipples typically the nipples on these do not have those holes on the side so all the pressure just uh, just blows straight back and tends to, you know, when the hammer falls like this, the back pressure lifts that hammer just slightly uh, against the hammer spring tension, and then that cap comes off, drops down in the action. So what we're going to do today is uh, shoot it with these new nipples and see how they work, and uh, see if we can get six shots off without a cap, cap jam. So uh, we're, we're going to clear it right now. We're going to put some uh, nipples on and just fire it without. 
uh, without any charge in there, clear everything out because I haven't shot it in a while, and then we'll try it uh, with the new nipples with full loads. And as I rotate it around, you can see the caps. We've got the capped up. We're going to shoot it, and those caps in will blow out any crap that's in there, so we know we haven't got a an obstructed uh, chamber. So here we go. We're just shooting. Uh, we're just shooting the caps. One, two, three. You see those caps falling off of there? Four, five. Up. Oh, see? What I'm stuck. What I'm stuck right there. Right there. You can see one of them's got a, got stuck right in there, and we can't uh, we can't do anything, and that's the problem that we're having with this. Now you don't shoot it like this, and that's one reason they're coming off. You shoot it like this. So if we if we do this, uh, the, the caps hopefully. Uh, stay on. All right, so we'll load it up now and shoot for real. Okay, this is Natalie. Uh, she's going to shoot uh, to demonstrate this uh, these new slick shot nipples. We've got it all loaded up, six of them loaded. She's going to shoot on that target down there behind us and we're at about 20 to 20, 25 yards somewhere in there and she's going to shoot on that uh, target. So, uh, you ready Nat? Ready. All right, here's the gun. See that little notch? Yeah. That little notch, you line up that little uh -huh. brass piece there in that notch. With what eye? Well, close your left eye and shoot right. with your right eye. All right. Close your left eye, shoot with your right eye. Okay. Is it a big kickback? No, it doesn't kick too much. Makes a big boom and lots of smoke because it's black powder. Cool. Can I switch hands? It's jammed. It's stuck. That's what we were hoping it wouldn't do. We were hoping that these new nipples would not get stuck up in the action. But they are stu something stuck in the action. The pieces of these nipples get down in there and get stuck. Oh, that stuck good too. That stuck pretty good. You just have to, okay, it's out. See that black, see this black thing? Yeah. That's supposed to. Now you might want to, uh, when after every shot you take, you might want to do this, ah. let the old nipple fall out, and then do this again. That's why in the old cowboy movies, you'd see them shoot, and then they'd do this, and then they'd cock it and shoot again. Let the old nipple fall out. Okay, you got one more. You got it? Yep. Ready? Yeah, ready. I'm going to close my eyes on this one. Don't close your eyes. You can't shoot with closed eyes. Well, no, my right eye. Oh.
hit something there. Yeah, you got another shot? No, I'm out. Is that it? You sure? Yeah. One more. Did I hit anything? Looks like the same holes. Aim for the center of the white. One more. Okay, so that's not too bad. We brought some in closer. They had some down there. I had a, those two off to the left. Were those mine? Those down uh, in there? These are yours. These aren't mine. And then there's one dead center, and then there's some more off to the left as well. And then there's some more up in here. That's a new one. So there's these. Is that that's one of yours? Is that one of mine? No. That one is. Then there's these. That one's yours. I think one of these is yours too, right? I think that one's mine. Yeah. That one's that yours. Was, that's yours. This one is. That one's yours. That's a good one. It's right on. That, 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 you, I think you got that one when you changed your glasses. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be able to see those sights, boy. And at 25 yards, we're shooting this at 25 yards. We were shooting with 24 grains of powder as well, so it wasn't a gigantic powder charge. But what this tells you is those guns are accurate or can be accurate if you can hold them steady enough, if your eyes are good enough to find the sights, and if you know where the gun shoots and you can compensate a little bit if it shoots uh, high and you compensate a little bit um, those are probably overcompensated right there but you know or they were flinches but overall if it if it was a gunfight you know that guy would have had a few holes in him so so what do you think Nap? it's pretty good did the nipples work okay did you get any uh, problems with it or those slick shot nipples work I really didn't shoot them without them before, so don't have anything compared to, but I'm sure it, they helped. Well, I didn't, I did, I've shot it before and it's had more hang ups than that. And we shot how many? You shot twice, I shot twice. So that was four sixes or 24. We just so had that's that one that I had. So that's 24 rounds, and we had one that kind of hung up a little bit. But that's not bad out of 24 because that gun is. is has had hung up a lot of times before so oh, well, I guess those are all right well here hold hold on to the gun and show give us hold the gun up there like <laughs> against the target there you can turn it up the other way okay so there it is turn the other way so it's pointed up yeah okay so there it is, 1851 Navy. 
with the slick shot nipples uh, shot pretty good I think those nipples were probably worth it and uh, how much do they retail for six dollars each so for a pack of how many six so about 36 bucks for six of them they're not cheap but they're probably hard to make because they're so small they're stainless steel too so which helps but cool so alrighty there it is all right, so see you later now. See you later.